Uh, we've got a hui on, on uh, tonight, uh, 5 o'clock, Pōwhiri, at Taheke Marae. And uh, it carries on tomorrow, Saturday. And uh, the uh, agenda is for Hori Tikuri and the uh, Marae Native Court and the land title deeds. I'm going to put a uh, hui on myself uh, with uh, Morris Baker and his deed titles to land here uh, where he is in the Ratana Church that's on the land block with the memorials on the land to Tikuri. So that's uh, a missing link in the hapu and the whānau in the uh, Kaikohi area in this district here. So I'll be explaining everything tonight um, from the Pōwhiri and dinner at 7 o'clock and then we go straight into that and continue on tomorrow. We, we, we envisage getting uh, um, <clears throat> some response from anyone who has deed titles because that's my profession in the land, uh, real estate and uh, uh, native titles for a long, long time now with the history of the Ratna Church and the Manukau titles in Auckland. At Te Waka Marae we had the uh, uh, opening of native court there, uh, opened the, the Waitangi Marae native court inside the Marae and Titi Marae, opened that one and Te Hiku at Ika Marae up there, opened the native court back so we can go back and put the, the uh, original history back in place. And out of that, I'm dealing direct straight into Westminster from these Marais, or in particular this one because of its original uh, uh, Napuhi title here, of anybody that has any title deeds, that's a British title deed, not the, not the government here, to, um, to uh, uh, Te Kuri. Pardon? Oh, the Pano, well that's it, it's a, an original history here, I'm going to be putting on that marae back in the old days. Um, uh, in the 1862 Native Land Act of New Zealand started here. The British came here first before they went anywhere else. They started in the Hokianga and are going back from Russell, uh, that history, back with Hongi Hika and Tira Waikato, Whare Here Here Manika, went to uh, England with uh, Bishop Kendall and that's what I'm going on, those titles back then joined up to uh, where they are with the flag, the, the, the flag, the decoration flag. That's what I'm doing, all that history I've done with uh, the Confederation. Of, I'm about the last of the Confederation of Chiefs. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. I was... Yeah, so that's the part of me. But I, I went on the radio earlier in the week and I'm just giving them another opportunity to come to the hui today. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to put me through now. We had a little private talk. <laughs> today is... Uh, <clears throat> Friday, the 17th of November 2017, just about ready to go on the radio. Uh, Totoko uh, in Mangamoka. Um, so, this will just be a notice uh, that I put across on the radio. Kia ora, kia ora, it's uh, Wani Wano, John Wano here speaking. Oh, that'd be better. Uh, what's your number, Morris? What's the number here? 401 for eight double five. 401 for double one. Eight double five. Oh, hey? 401 for eight double five. 401 for eight double five. 401 for. 
4014855. That's Morris Baker, eh? I'm at his place. Okay, thank you. So he's going to ring back uh, on the from the radio. So I'll just yeah, um, we've got to wait for after the news. See, I should have gone after the news. Ooh. You see, oh, so yeah. I'll just turn the cameras off, or li I'll leave them rolling. I'll leave them rolling till um, he comes, so I won't break the video off. We can just talk uh, while they're going through the news. Who are you talking to? Uh, the follow the radio station. Oh no, or or pa. I might be pa. I think I'm not too sure, but. Anyway, he's coming, he's going to ring me back after the news. You see, I should have gone after, after the news. But we're rolling on this video that because I want to um, uh, oh, keep track of what I'm saying. But I'm going to read out what I've written on the agenda sure. of what I'm going to talk about. Sure. Because I gave, him, uh, gave Morris his agenda on the protocol of the, the kawa of the marae, Taheke marae. Right. Uh, so <coughs> it's fashioned. Uh, in a way that that marae, uh, for the very first time, is going back to its original roots of uh, the Ratna Church being in this area, mm -hmm. and at the same time as the British uh, um, uh, military families, the Navy started off in the Hokianga uh, Harbour, and they were stationed at Rawini in this. Uh, uh, particular area mm -hmm. and that's where I'm going back to square one to join those titles back up in the big blocks. Morris has one of the big blocks of um, Tikuri, Hori Tikuri as exactly the same as Refa Refa Manikau in Auckland title, the Pukikoi title uh, that's um, uh, similar in fashion to the, as being deeds of title, the original deeds before they got cut up into the um, New South Wales, Australian and New Zealand government crown, that crown. We're dealing with the British crown and King George IV and Te Rewaikato Whare Here Here Manukau between 1820 and 1830 started off a contract of these contracts in this book that I'm saying that we are fashioning Taheke Marae back to where it was at the beginning of these and they can't stop it down today? Yeah, they can't because that um, has significance in the early pioneering titles. Mm -hmm. My profession is titles. In my family, the Rogan married the Wanoa and married the Manukau, and this oh, is the titles here. Yeah. No, he'll, he'll ring through. Okay. I'll, wait, I'll wait for the phone to ring. When I think you push that button there. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, I will. But I'll just carry on here. Um, I'm just saying that. We're going back, that's the news on now, so it'll be after that. We're going back to uh, square one, where those big titles were put together. What has ha happened here is this. The New Zealand Crown has been mischievous to alter and tamper with this title between the chief here, yeah. Refa Manukau, and Hori Tikuri. They've tampered with his title here at uh, uh, Morris's title and tampered with the Manukau title, the referent for Manukau title in Afitu uh, Manukau land block in Auckland. They've altered those titles and split the name referent for Manukau in half and called it Rewa. This is Te Oriho and with Ngāti Whātua in Helensville put, did that. And also Te Rewaikato Whare Here Here in Manukau, they split that name off into two bits and you can see it on the receipt here but I'm just saying that we are here to correct any tampering with these titles by the alien Australian New Zealand government. We've caught them in fraud and that's what we're dealing with Cook Street in the city, uh, 77 Cook Street in similar fashion to this land block here that's been tampered with. And my job is to point out the corruption of their titles. Now I'm just going to say what the hui is for, uh, what I'm going to be talking about tonight at the hui. Morris will be introducing the um, 
<coughs> Tomata <coughs> on a British <coughs> paramount chief native court sense of the word of that marae as opposed to the iwi Maori uh, uh, trustees. He has his own uh, committee to go back to these huri te huri and pick up from there because of the fraud in the title we, we have the right, the legal right to seize back the land back into the King's Bench Court from the Queen's Bench Court if it's identified as being tampered with and that's exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to talk here, I've numbered them in this way. So who is for Hori Tikuri, the chief of this big area block of land um, point out the boundaries of that size. Uh, number two, Taheke Marae Native Court. It was a native court in those days. Number three, native title deeds of Hori Tikuri Memorial here on the land is the title to those deed documents written. I'm saying this, if you're coming to the Hui and you have deed titles, you can bring them to identify any other person who has a name with Kuri in it, or a chief Kuri. Bring your deed titles because that's going to identify who you are on the bits of land that you have. And if there's no one who has any of those titles, then there's only one Te Kuri, and he's buried here. His memorial is here to the land, all of the land, in the area as far as the eye can see, or already drawn on the maps. Yeah. Number four, memorial to Te Hori, uh, Hori Te Kuri on this land. That's his memorial, and where the memorial is, is the title, dated on the documents. Okay, so he's got documents that stack up to that title. Six, British Crown agent and one chief title. Right, one agent, one chief. Not a whole bunch, it's just one chief before they split the block into different iwi Māori titles under Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth. This is King George IV and King George William IV brothers. Titles from 1820 to 1837. Okay, so this is the period locked into these contracts. They are private contracts of Edmund. Eight, direct to Westminster Parliament, UK. This chief and Morris has a direct line straight into Westminster with Referefa Manukau in the Manukau district. Okay, he's in the Taheke and Hokianga district where these British started here. That's the beginning of the British titles we're talking about here. Oh, we can talk about British titles. I'm here as a surrogate King William IV and a surrogate King William III and a surrogate King George IV. Okay, so those three kings make up what I'm talking about, the British title. Ken, the British king, gave the flag to the paramount chiefs. He did not give that flag that they're flying to Maori government or a Whakamininga because it's British. They're not talking British, they're talking Victoria. <coughs> All those uh, chiefs that come to this hui, you're coming here to talk to this flag, which is the British uh, connection. Not any Australian, not any Maori uh, uh, iwi, it's nothing to do with them, it's straight to Westminster. And Morris has that authority to speak with me straight to Westminster. No middle man. This is a two-party contract and the Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth and iwi Maori are third party in this business. So we're talking King George the Fourth jurisdiction of contract 1820 to 1830 and his brother King William the Fourth continuing that contract through from 1830 to 1837. That's a flag, that's what that flag was given on those two kings joined in a private contract. Nobody's business. Number 12 Refere for Manukau took the Waikato title uh, from Te Waikato, transferred from Te Waikato's contract with King George IV. 14. 
sold to the Waikato, or sold New Zealand country title to the UK Crown. Britain. Britain. 15, Edinburgh Magistrate Court Bank. That's what this flag is. It was given to continue the business of the Edinburgh Magistrate Court Bank of Admiralty, Court Martial Law, and that flag is the protectorate from Westminster Magistrate Court and the Navy, Royal British Navy, to this one chief, Tira Waikato Wharehere Here Manukau, and his descendant, Referefa Manukau, transferred to here, where all that began here in this country, in Hokiama, on this Taheke Marae, as appropriate, legal, legitimate and authentic. We are authenticating this book that I put together for the Magistrates Court, I opened up as a surrogate king, with that title to speak for the king in absence. We are contractors that are legally enforcing law straight under the king's instruction of acts of his Westminster Parliament 1830 to 1837 applies to this land block right here and Referefa Auckland and Manukau titles and Waikato titles are the same Moriori Manukau titles. <coughs> 17. The land was transferred to the British kings. 18. The Queen's titles are iwi Maori, have no seal of Westminster and no seal of the Queen and they are using TPPA to go around the corner through America back here without the Queen because she's already in business as a private contractor herself. The same as what we are, mm -hmm. private contractors ourselves starting up here. We're already a contractor in Auckland running a business. The business is Maui Crown King William the Fourth Trust. And we're starting this trust up on Taheke Marae as an extension of an existing seal receipt here between Rogan, land agent in Awaroa, Helensville, and Refa Refa Manukau right here. So that's proof of it was done on the 11th of November 